The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. comes one of the most decorated competitors in WWE history. An A-lister of sports entertainment. Think for a moment about all the great adversity Miz has had to overcome in his career. He has been stalked by maniacs. He's had his manhood questioned, and he is constantly put in harm's way. Uh, well, I have no sympathy for the Miz. It's about time he gets humbled. He shouldn't be humbled, he should be celebrated as a man, as a competitor, and beloved by all. The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test. And they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose. Absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers, the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. They certainly have a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. Shifts it back onto him. Nothing new. And set right into the corner. Big boot! Down to Bonin! And a double axe handle smash. Ooh. 
And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Sorts. Yeah, Smith definitely saw a much needed opening and walked right through. Enable to counter. <laughs> That's going to sting. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through, others want to inflict as much damage as possible, and some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. Great counter by The Miz. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and in the chest as well. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. The Miz letting him know who the real star attraction is here. Nothing good's about to happen up there either. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Out. And there's even more offense from The Miz. That's Miz saying he'll fight until every breath is out of his body. Oh, flubbing blow. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Stomping, ouch. And that prevents Guther's offense. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Oh, look at this, just cranking the head. That's gotta hurt. Crank in the head. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Face first off the knee. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. All the momentum swinging away from Gunther. A killer instinct from Miz shining through. He's got him scouted. And Gunther needed that badly. Gunther isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Ooh, back elbow puts a stop to things. Superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Followed up by another to the chest. Brutal stomp to the body. And this is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, wedges, shoulders can go wrong very quickly. Things can go wrong now. Big impact off the net breaker. The Miz 
shifting the match to his pace. Gunther has to create an opportunity to retaliate. Just cranking ahead. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. What's he gonna do here? The foot DDT! Yeah, this tracks. Miz never did meet a crowd he didn't know how to play to. Followed up by another to the chest. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Close fist punch to the jaw. That's one way to break up a move. Toss their opponent. off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Knee drop. The body taking some punishment. <laughs> Rear European uppercut. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. What are we going to see here? Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Oh, and in the chest as well. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Smashing their face. into the ring.
Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. That's just the risk every superstar takes when they step between the ropes. You just always hope it doesn't happen to you. Certainly some rain incoming on their victory parade.